For communities living in arid and semi-arid lands like those in Mutomo district at the southeastern parts of Kenya, water scarcity and food insecurity is a common phenomenon. Year in, year out, long dry spells are the norm and even when it rains, most of the surface runoff water that could otherwise be harvested and utilized for agriculture and domestic purposes goes to waste, draining off to the few seasonal rivers that dot the area. Innovative water harvesting technologies like rock catchments play a crucial role. The Cassava Rock Catchment Project, a community-managed catchment developed from a one-kilometer rock outcrop to catch and concentrate runoff into a nine-meter high-walled storage dam, is one of them. Tema member ba kubingili umu ni watu wa ukiye tu amia moradi wa kaseva wa umanda kigu. Started in 1956 and relaunched in 1982, the rock catchment serves community members within a 10-kilometer radius. Stone gutters are made to collect the runoff from the rock catchment area. Water is pumped to two water reservoir tanks where community members draw water for a small fee that is used for the maintenance of the project. <laughs> Their mission is to expand the rock catchment in a bid to harvest more water that can serve the community for a longer period. Since water is closer to their homesteads, vulnerable households are at least now cushioned against adverse drought effects, especially a lack of drinking water. Time spent by women in search of water has reduced considerably from 12 hours in a day to less than one hour. Though the project is a communal venture, proper management and maintenance is key to the sustainability of the catchments. Neto the an executive committee. Ela neyo ya ndiye ya tunga meyo na yao kaya so mene na mete kila na na yao. Ondo ngi neto ya ndiye tuwe thana account. Tuwa bi ngu account ya project. Na nondo wa kwe thaya ii account. Neto zi azia monoko mesu uvia. Neka na wedi ene ato te diedi na ii okite. With more replication of these and other water harvesting technologies, vulnerability to water scarcity effects to the residents of Mutomo and in other similar arid lands can be minimized. Once you build a rock catchment, it is there for good. Uh, if you want clean water, you can sweep the catchment, the rock, from where you collect the water before the rains. <laughs> Similar projects that have struggled reveal some of the key ingredients for making community managed water resources a success. <laughs>
Mwisa kwe dhe kibukela chuli kwa unichure dhe yandu kwe binda yasa. Thi no longi ni kwe binda tayi kwe nanza. Kumba nyandu uma ya teko, maamba kwa nda. Asa za committee members ite kwa manane za nduwa kitu nikitu. Besides, replication of these initiatives and other innovative water harvesting technologies at the household level is crucial in ensuring that everyone is part of the response to climate change. Technology is a good thing. We have 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 a good thing. Nondo mena liu mosio na mionda meseo, na miembe meseo, na mia ilu, na, na ila na sisi nevi ya ona kwa kuku kito ndo na kuka kuenza. Tia ingi me kito ndo nikite ni kuithi wa, ni ome kuithi wa doubt. Meona ta nguenza nthi mana, ni noe mana, mjana ngevina wako wa mana, ila ni nanza. Kwa hui mambi ya, meamba kuhonzi ya isi ya, nikenda mono seo lawe kwa kwa, maka ambesi ya. Where water harvesting techniques are being utilized, the benefits are evident. Residents in the area can afford to enjoy fresh fruit made available courtesy of their own local farmers. Na tuambesi vano nduwa kitu mikimo. Nikuithi wapakwa kwa pe na pandututo na ukwata kiguu. Na ila mbuya ya uwa. Netueka ali, nini matete ya siya na kiguu. Na tuona tatuto na ukwata tangili, ta miongwe tatu na itano. Farmers have also integrated climate smart agriculture with traditional forms through having tree nurseries next to earth dams or groundwater reservoirs, hence increasing tree cover on the farms, an effective practice for changing the area's microclimate and boosting soil fertility. Alin through Hamutomo, Ngarua and Chuso knowledge centers, commonly referred to as Marifa centers in Mutomo district of Eastern Province and Laikipa districts of the Rift Valley Province, Kenya, recognizes that providing communities with access to information on water harvesting initiatives plays a critical role in helping them protect themselves from adverse climate change effects. The information you offer is biased towards climate change adaptation techniques small-scale sustainable agriculture, natural resource management, and other livelihood issues with an aim of improving the community's livelihoods. The communal cassava rock water harvesting project and other individual water harvesting initiatives are clear examples that responding to climate change is possible through localized initiatives managed by the local communities for long-term benefit. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.